What up? It's your boy Nick from MMA Pixels here with Chris Burton. How are you doing, Chris? I'm doing pretty good. How about you? I'm doing great, man. I appreciate you spending your time with me. I know you have a... Uh, not a problem. Not a problem at all. You have a big match coming up uh, January 6th at 209 Beatdown 4 against Conan Orozco. Uh, yeah. Um, I'm excited for it, and I can't wait for it. It's, uh... Especially the, the the opponent I got, and um, it's it's a it's a little bit of a personal thing between me and him because he fought my teammate, and um, uh, and he beat him fair and square. He did beat him. This is after the after he won. Clearly, my uh, my teammate was out, and um, he kept hitting him, and uh, the ref pulled him off. He's go try to keep hitting him, and like it really pissed me off. I wanted to start stuff in the back when he got back, but um, everybody told me to calm down and get and just focus on my fight. But and, uh, now I uh, I get a chance to uh, put his ass to sleep. You're right. I, w- I was going to bring that up. I, I I was there that night, and uh, your teammate he was obviously a hometown hero, and uh, Conan he got the victory, and then like he was kind of hamming it up. The crowd was booing him a little bit. Yeah, yeah, he deserved that. <laughs> So, uh, last time we spoke, uh, that was going to be your last amateur fight. Again, you're, yeah. you're back. This is another amateur fight. Um, can you walk me through how, how this came about? Yeah. Um, I felt like I, um, I performed pretty poorly in amateurs and like very amateur initially because, uh, with, uh, with that fight, like, uh, I, like, uh, I was a little hurt, but and I, uh, I also didn't even make weight. But uh, he still accepted the fight. I was his, I was in bad shape, but I still wanted to fight. He he said it was okay, but um, I I kind of felt okay, so I just went with it. And I thought I can um, in like uh, I uh, like before I think right after uh, like like two fights before me, my coach uh, he was on his way and he got caught in traffic, so I couldn't uh, I didn't have my main coach with me, which uh put a lot of things in my head and stressed me out of it, uh, stressed me out a bit. And then, um, all these things are happening, like, in a short span of time. Uh, my teammates losing, my coach not being here, and I, I went with my secondary coach, of course, but, um, I really need, I'm really comfortable when I have my main coach with me. And, uh, I didn't know what to do for some particular reason. I just didn't, uh, I was act, uh, acting up a bit. And then, um, a lot of people, like uh, ring ring girls, judges, crowds, everybody, referees telling me just knock the guy out, just knock the guy out. And I was like, oh, I'm coming off with two knockouts, and I felt like uh, I got too caught up in the whole knocking somebody out thing. I just go out there and just start throwing leather and trying to knock somebody out, just to, uh, just to have fun and um, please the crowd. But uh, that's when I that's when I knew that I was acting amateurishly because I could have beat this guy. I really could have. It made me upset because um, he he didn't really uh, like he really wasn't that good and all he was doing was trying to take me down. Uh, he didn't even try to fight me. He tried to fight me. When he tried, he got beat up for it pretty bad. And um, what I could have done was um, had a pretty good game plan and going out there and just winning the fight. But for, uh, I was my amateur way was just trying to go out there and knock him out. And um, what I really should have done was just think it through. Uh, Pick them, pick them apart each round, and I uh, did it and could have done it that way and got and got a pretty nice victory. But um, I got uh, caught up in the whole amateur thing, and uh, I want to right that wrong this time. But this guy, I want to knock him out for sure. But all I really want to do now is focus on getting just the W. And if the if the knockout comes, knockout comes, submission comes, submission comes. But pretty much what I what uh, what this is. Um, Pretty much do, uh, beating this guy up, as a, uh, like beating him up like a pro, and just only thinking about getting the W, not thinking about like just trying to knock somebody out to please the crowd, but just to win, just yeah. only to win. That's yeah. all. Not to be cliche, but they say Styles makes fights. Um, last last opponent was a wrestler. This one, he's a, a boxer. He has a nice stand up. Um, so it it tends to be, I think, a stand up war. Yeah, if it comes down to it, it is. But um, I'm 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 pretty good all around. Uh, I'm a pretty decent wrestler. I got pretty decent jujitsu. I never really I never really have the time to really use it. <clears throat> and then um, that's when I wanna I wanna uh, display every skill uh, every uh, skill set that I have 
So without a doubt, I'll know that I'm ready to go to the pro level. And you're currently the 209 beatdown uh, bantamweight champion, correct? Yes. Are you going to uh, vacate that then since you're going to be turning pro after this one? Yeah, yeah. I'm vacating uh, that belt too. If I get this belt, then I'll vacate that one too. It's pretty much, a, it's not really about the belt. It's just beat, uh, beating this guy the way I need to beat somebody and then go on to the pros. Uh, last fight when we spoke, uh, you had a lot of family there, and that was kind of your driving factor into accepting one more amateur fight so you could fight in hometown. Are you going to mm -hmm. have a big following there, friends and family? Yeah, I have um, a lot of friends and family coming to this one. Uh, they're going to try to catch as many fights as I can uh, before I uh, start fighting overseas and stuff like that. So this is this is uh, any chance they can get to see me in Stockton, they're going to take it. So I'm going to have a pretty big fan base. Um, and family and all, all around me. Is that a goal of yours, is to fight overseas? Uh, no, not really. Uh, if I can, I like to fight close as possible. Uh, uh, I like traveling, I don't mind, but um, if I have to, I will. But uh, if anything, I would like to keep it close, you know, like, uh, like the promotions I'm actually looking forward to, uh, like trying to see if they'll uh, accept me. But I like to go pay, uh, conquer. I like to uh, try uh, uh, see if Bellator would uh, take me. Um, like those, like close places by the bay in San Jose, you know. Right, right. Uh, I all I can suggest is that if you travel, make sure you go with your coach this time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Chris, I know you're very busy. You're training. I don't want to take up too much of your time. I appreciate you speaking with me. I'm so excited. Is there anything you want to talk about that we didn't cover? Uh, no, no. Uh, I pretty much covered everything. Um, just, I just can't wait to like, really fuck this dude up because I really don't like, excuse my language, but I really don't like the guy. I really don't. So um, if you do see me act a little bit different than I normally am, Right on. And then where can the fans follow you on social media? Uh, you can follow me on Facebook, Chris Burton, and you can follow me on um, Instagram. Those are only two ones I use. It's uh, Chris uh, Cross with a K and uh, MMA 209. Yeah, I appreciate your time, Chris. 209 Beatdown 4, January 6th, Stockton Memorial Civic Auditorium. Chris Burton versus Conan Orozco. I can't wait. Thank you. Uh, can't wait. See you there. Have a good day.